weekend is Mother's Day weekend. And I wanted to pass along some advice that my mom gave me. Um, it's probably the best advice I've ever had. Um, so my mom told me before I had kids that when you have kids and it's Mother's Day, you need to keep your expectations really low. Now, I'm talking really low. Like, just think you're going to have like the worst day ever. Just keep your expectation about there and you will never be disappointed. Because let's face it, as moms, who's going to cook dinner on Mother's Day? Especially as single moms. Who's going to cook dinner? Me. Who's going to be cleaning? Me. Who's going to buy my gift? Me. <laughs> All of those things. And we have those expectations and those expectations are way high and the kids deliver way low. It's like my friend said, it's just another day to be disappointed. <laughs> so we keep our expectations low and we keep our happiness high. Um, it's kind of like being sick as a mom. We don't, nothing changes. We are just, it's just another day. I love being a mom. I'm so grateful to be a mom. Um, when I um, was living further away from my um, former husband and his wife, um, we would, I would give them the kids for Mother's Day. And so I'd go to church and people would be like, hey, oh, how sad. You don't have your kids for Mother's Day, blah, blah, blah. And I would say, what are you talking about? What is a better gift on Mother's Day to say, like, you get the day off. You don't have to cook for anyone. You don't have to listen to anybody whining. You don't have to get anybody ready for church. You just get to do whatever you want all day long. So that is the best gift of Mother's Day. So now that I live closer, it's a little different. We see each other more. The kids are older. Um, now I don't see them as much because they're teenagers and they've got their own things to do. But I love the advice that my mom gave me. Keep your expectations low. You will never be disappointed. And I've kept that advice all of my kids' lives and I have never, ever been disappointed. I wanted to just put like a little tribute to my kids' other mom, who is their stepmom, Ashley. She has been the biggest blessing for our family. She has loved my kids like they're her own. And I often tell, tell my son that he better be nice to her because she does not have to love him because he's not technically hers. She chooses to love him. And I love that she chooses to love my children like they're her own. So I'm grateful for my mom. I'm grateful for my kid's other mom. And I'm grateful that I get the opportunity to raise two awesome kids.